Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 17th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a real interesting day of uncertainty. We chopped around quite a bit, and unfortunately, we didn't resolve anything. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. Yesterday was really an interesting day with an awful lot of chop. As you can see, we kind of spun around here, ended up with a kind of a spinning top doji here on the diamonds chart. And I was really tempted at a couple of times to pick up some short positions. And this morning looking at the big gap up, that we're looking at. Um, I'm glad I resisted that urge. As you can see, pushing up into some price resistance here in the chart in the pre-market, ahead of some key economic data that could either support that or really disappoint. So watch that closely as we press up here into this downtrend. This um, in and of itself may set up the next opportunity short in the market, but we'll wanna watch that pretty closely as these numbers come out today. So so let's keep an eye on that. If the bulls can continue to push up through here, that would be a nice thing to see if those bears defend from this area, then once again, this could be just a rally back to the downtrend and price resistance in the chart. Keep in mind, if we can continue to push through if the numbers are favorable this morning, we've got um, substantial price resistance above in these charts yet to deal with. So be careful with the rushing in with a fear of missing out. This is the kind of open that could create one of these nasty pop and drop type patterns where we gap up and then completely reverse by the end of the day. So watch that careful. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart and notice that we're climbing back above that 500 day moving average and that is a good sign. And if this morning pop holds, we'll be up above our T line finally or that eight exponential moving average. But we will want to keep in mind that overall our technicals here are still very, very bearish and um, we're a long ways from recovering in the market. Let's take a look at our SPY now, SPY also recovering nicely in the pre-market here we get this big pop ahead of numbers we'll want to watch that pretty carefully it's interesting that all of a sudden during the overnight session we suddenly got lots of confidence that that number will be strong but we're getting also quite a little bit of help from um, asian markets that were up sharply last night particularly tech and um, european markets they're in the bullish rally mode this morning so Looks like we're trying to break this little tiny level of price resistance here in the chart. Keep in mind, if we can continue to push up, we'll be dealing with the downtrend here in the chart and a substantial price resistance level just above. And remember, our technicals here are really not that much improved. Um, we are getting above, in the pre-market here at least, we are getting above the T-line here, but let's take a look at how bearish our other technicals here in the chart continue to, to show us that problem that we have. If we take a look at the QQQ, QQQ also rallying nicely here this morning in the pre-market, and we'll want to keep an eye on this. There's a little teeny tiny little resistance level right there, and a very very substantial resistance level above there. So if those bulls can keep pushing, we might actually attack this downtrend in the chart, which really sets up that next opportunity for a potential short. And once again, I wanna warn everybody to be careful with that fear of missing out, jumping before the gun here, because we could easily see some of this economic data disappoint and end up with a nasty little pop and drop on the day. So keep a close eye on that. And our technicals here, um, still horrible 50-day moving average pushing down toward that 500 day for a possible crossover maybe by the end of the week we'll see how this week um, fares maybe we turn it up just a little bit here if we can get that bullishness going but our shorter term moving average is already crossing down through the 500 and we've set up a massive area of resistance right here in that 
NASDAQ chart. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM had a pretty good day yesterday until right at the end of the day we saw a little bit of selling and then pushing back up here in the pre-market reversing in this morning's um, um, bullishness and we'll want to watch this substantial resistance level here in the chart as we approach and keeping in mind that we are still downtrending and that our technicals are dismal with the 50-day moving average already crossing down through that 50. However, just because we're so um, oversold in the short term, we certainly could see more rally here in the market. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX um, pulling back nicely yesterday. So while we were showing that uncertainty, um, that last hour surge um, helped the market here quite a bit, pushing us up in um, those indexes and relieving some of that negative pressure here in the VIX. Now, keeping an eye on that, we still have to get back down here below this 25 handle before we can really feel much comfort in this chart. And if we were to catch a reversal here today with some bad data, that could be problematic. So watch that close. Not 100% sure that we're going to be able to just continue to sink with that uncertainty out there, but that certainly is a nice hope for this relief rally to continue maybe just a little bit longer. And if we take a look at our T2122, one of the reasons that I just wasn't quite ready to make that decision on um, adding some additional short to the market, which is simply because our T2122 performance yesterday was not as much as I would have kind of hoped for in a relief rally. Now, if we get the big gap up open, they're, su they're suggesting here this morning, then that may perfectly set up a great opportunity to look at some additional short in the market if, if they don't trigger a short squeeze that could actually expand um, accelerate that move to the upside substantially. So we'll want to watch that closely. And again, don't rush in at the open. Let's see how they're actually going to deal with this price action after we get some of that data. Keeping in mind, we still have this little bit of a downtrend in here. And I would really like to see us pushing up into this area here and maybe even beyond. And if we get that short squeeze, we could easily see that overextend. We have a tendency to do that in this market where we, it's it's all in, all at once. We continue to have that um, a very high um, speculating um, push and that fear of missing out move that can occur. And if that does happen, then no doubt in my mind, I'll be looking probably for a pullback in the market. But if we, if we maintain some composure here and, and move this up a lot slower, then I'm, I'm all for that. And let's see if we can hold on to some bullishness here. Now, keep in mind that we still um, have, if we get a disappointing number on those retail sales, we certainly have opened up um, an opportunity to move back lower here as well. So remember, we have to look at charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, T2108 made a nice improvement yesterday, popping up, but boy, that does not make for a bullish market, noticing that we couldn't even yesterday push up here and, and break through some of these resistance levels. Only, well, less than 17% of our stocks holding above our 40-day moving average doesn't does not make a bullish market with that. In our T2107, whoops, T2107, very much the same. Um, that's a seven day, there we go. Um, pushing up yesterday, but unfortunately not breaking through resistance levels, still substantially downtrending. 23% of our stocks holding above that 200 day. And so that's one of the reasons seeing, seeing the, the very lackluster performance um, in these two uh, metrics. Um, it doesn't it doesn't jive with the big pop that we're seeing this morning so kind of a an interesting overnight reversal and we'll have to question that as the morning progresses here to see whether that's going to be valid or if it will be rejected and then if we take a look at our t2101 we did get a nice little rest or a little pullback in that uh, downside momentum spike that we saw 
in T2101. Um, so momentum has pulled back, and I thought, well, maybe we're just going to rest sideways yes, um, you know, for a few days. But no, we're going to power it up here this morning in the pre-market and see if we can't um, get those bulls to jump hard and fast this morning. So watch that carefully. This could easily sink um, on that momentum move. And then if we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today, what I've been talking about is these details that are going to be interesting. Um, we've got retail sales this morning. And I got to tell you, retail sales, they are projecting um, retail sales in the consensus that um, it continues to show um, weakness. So we were uh, at a 0 0.5 on the last reading. They're looking in consensus for a 0 0.8. So a modest improvement in retail sales. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. Um, but notice here, X vehicles, they're looking that at declining um, and we're um, looking for an increase, probably largely because gasoline prices have gotten so high that uh, that gas number perking up here just a little bit. Um, national gas prices last night um, popped to um, over four and a half dollars a gallon for national average gas prices continuing to stress those consumers. Keep in mind after that number, depending on what reaction we get from that number, we've got industrial production here that we'll want to be paying attention to that could move us around. Remember our Empire State number was tremendously bearish yesterday. So um, keep an eye on that. Business inventories, we've got housing market index. And then we're going to have a busy day of Fed talk. We've got Patrick in here, um, Hawker in here talking at 9.15. We're going to get Jerome Powell at 2 p.m. Metzger, um, she's the co-chair or the uh, vice chair of the Fed speaking. And then Charles Evans speaking here um, after the bell today. So kind of keep an eye on those. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is starting to decline um, just a little bit. We have um, just over 70 companies that were listed on the calendar today, but keep in mind there are quite a few of those that are unconfirmed reports as those small cap companies continue to roll out. However, we did have a nice bullish report this morning in the pre-market from Home Depot. Home Depot um, beat estimates and guided forward with a 3% um, increase um, expected in next quarter. Keep in mind, we're rallying back to price resistance and downtrend in that chart, so be kind of careful. But that is a nice little improvement here. And we're also going to be hearing from Walmart today. And unfortunately, it looks like Walmart has disappointed, uh, pushing substantially lower here in the pre-market. So a little bit of mix here coming in on those retail sales. Other than that, we have um, um, several notables in here that you might want to be paying attention to. Um, we've got a JD.com. JD will be reporting today. Looks like it's popping up in the pre-market. We've got a TCS that will be reporting today. We'll be hearing from KEYS Keys. Keep an eye on that. We've got SE on the docket here to report. Looks like they're trying to press up into their downtrend here. Now it's hard to tell sometimes when we have such a big pre-market pop seeing um, um, whether or not that's actually um, the earnings report or just the emotion of the morning pushing that up, but watch that closely. If you guys want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch those full notables. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please continue to click those thumbs up buttons leave those brief comments I do truly appreciate it and also you could help out the channel a lot if you just grab that link uh, for the video and post it on your social media feed and have other folks be able to um, um, access that information. And I wanna just say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are truly awesome and I, I really do appreciate it. And thank you for all the kind support to the um, 
uh, buy me a coffee link as well just below the title of the video let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to make sure that you're doing your own due diligence that you are focusing carefully on the risk of these um, trades the market is extremely volatile and very erratic in these price moves so make sure you understand carefully the risk before any trade follow your trading plan and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas let's take a look at a couple things here in the charts i gotta tell you um, uh, we just have so much strength in this defensive sector area with consumer defensive and you can see here coca-cola moving on higher this was a nice little pattern set up here in coca-cola moving on higher um, watch this as we reach up here maybe um, attack some of these um, highs in coke recent highs watch that carefully we also saw some really nice moves in PepsiCo. PepsiCo stretching on up here, and it looks like this morning it's looking to try and break um, that resistance high in the chart. So watch that carefully as, again, defensive sector stocks remain strong. Okay, take a look at KHC. KHC continuing to move to the upside and trying to pop this morning to see whether or not it can break through that resistance in the chart. And we're just seeing that in so many of these defensive sector big old dividend paying companies take a look at Philip Morris continuing to push on up and try and break through we're seeing um, nice moves in um, um, like Campbell soup continuing to move up in this nice little trend here to the upside staying very very uh, bullish um, Hershey um, Hershey showing lots of strength popping up here this morning. Looks like we might get a little bit of a pop and drop here in Hershey as it's trying to break out. But look at that beautiful upside trend Hershey has been in. Really strong. Um, Schmuckers, um, SJM, whoops. Um, SJM working really hard to try and see if it can break out up here so keep a close eye on that defensive sector has been doing really really well now I'm um, also adding to that take a look at um, you know some of these energy sector stocks continuing to push higher uh, Devon Energy looking really good Exxon Mobil showing lots of strength trying to break out of some resistance here in the chart um, CVX looking really good trying to push on through OXY whoops Occidental showing lots of strength and then if we take a look over into um, you know the natural gas area um, taking a look at stocks like um, UNG and by the way I, I have a bias here I've been holding this long term um, um, UNG just beautifully um, moving to the upside we're trying to reach back up here and attack some highs and I gotta tell you as long as the uh, Russia Ukraine uh, war continues I don't see that changing here anytime soon. Um, also, you might want to take a look at other food related stocks. Um, um, we have um, some new sanctions from India um, on wheat. And as you can see, um, or should I say, not sanctions, but um, removal of their buying a kind of an embargo on wheat and you can see that moved up nicely yesterday testing some resistance levels in the chart wheat showing some strength um, corn um, another um, area of the market as those food prices continue to rise despite the um, you know the 50 basis point increase in um, the Fed and, and remember the Fed must bring this um, this inflation down and so far they don't seem to be doing a very good job of it so kind of keep in mind next month we're looking at another increase in um, Fed funds rate and who knows maybe they may um, become even more aggressive since the market seems to be kind of ignoring um, all of um, their concern about inflation and then let's take a look at like FedEx FedEx trying here to come up out of a bottom um, if you look in this chart you can see I've got a, a price alert right in here and we popped last week trying to push on through whoops stupid tool change the changed um, my colors and changed the tool and everything so there we go uh, popping up in here um, and I'm watching that kind of closely keep in mind this is kind of what um, 
turning out to be um, one of those rounded bottom breakouts where we break above that 50 day if we can prove to hold in there um, watch charts like that I also have to mention some of the stocks in the healthcare um, area of the market taking a look at um, Merck Merck continues to look very very bullish um, this is where we had that price alert here on that chart continuing to stretch to the upside keep a, a close eye on that um, really looking good now I would suspect some kind of rest or pullback coming here in that chart but holding up very well a BMY continues to try and set up here and break through that resistance it's been struggling here uh, for some time watch this carefully if it can build enough energy to pop through that could be interesting at the same time if it fails at this resistance level that could be a problem for BMY so there's a few stocks for you to consider for the day um, I would be very very careful um, rushing into too many trains that are still downtrending because remember our overall markets continue to downtrend and in that situation you can jump right in on trades um, um, you know the known trades that you would like to buy and, and I get it but we may jump into those right into the price resistance levels and catch that next wave of selling so be very very careful so with that guys I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great success in your trading and I'll see you right back here right in early Wednesday morning I wish you all the best